How Newton might have interpreted gravity was enough to allow us to travel from the Earth to the Moon at any given moment. Lose yourself in the ticking hands of time, pondering whether our interpretation of it is merely the surface of the fleeting iceberg on its peak. His discovery isn't merely a conjecture. A key could unlock the pathways to the mysteries of the cosmos, revealing a universe far more unpredictable and awe-inspiring than we ever imagined. How does Brian Cox's novel theory challenge our traditional perception of time? And what are the potential implications for our understanding of reality? Join us on an intriguing journey through the annals of time itself as we explore Brian Cox's recently uncovered extraordinary hypothesis regarding the essence of time in the vast universe around us. Secrets are awaiting discovery, and some of these secrets concern perplexing concepts about time and gravity, which are fundamental elements of our reality. Imagine a world where time behaves strangely, able to slow down or speed up. Additionally, the force that keeps us grounded may not be as it seems. This is the domain of Albert Einstein's theories of relativity, where our understanding of time and gravity diverges in unexpected ways. Albert Einstein, a renowned figure, provided us with a clearer perspective on the cosmos through his theories of relativity. His contributions set the stage for comprehending how time behaves under varying conditions, particularly when traveling at mind-boggling speeds. It all began in the early 20th century when Einstein introduced two revolutionary theories, the special theory of relativity and the general theory of relativity. The special theory of relativity, published in 1905, transformed our perception of existence. Simply put, it asserts that the laws of physics are the same for all observers who aren't accelerating, regardless of their motion. This theory opens up the possibility of relativistic effects, including the famous idea that time can expand or decelerate under certain circumstances. One fascinating thought experiment used to explain time dilation is the light clock. Picture being inside a spacecraft traveling at nearly the speed of light. Inside the spacecraft, there's a beam of light bouncing between two mirrors, perpendicular to the direction of travel. According to the laws of physics, the speed of light is constant for all observers, so the light beam must appear to travel in a diagonal path. Now, here's the intriguing part. The time it takes for the light beam to travel its path should be identical for both the observer inside the spacecraft and the one outside. However, since the path is longer for the outside observer, it appears as if it would take more time for the light to complete its journey. This perceived time discrepancy between the two observers is what Einstein referred to as time dilation. Time slows down for the observer moving relative to the stationary one. So, in this scenario, time behaves differently depending on your motion. Understanding how things change when they move quickly, known as relativistic effects, isn't just a theoretical concept. Scientists employ enormous machines called particle accelerators, like the Large Hadron Collider, to make particles travel at speeds approaching that of light. When things move this rapidly, we must rethink time to make accurate predictions and measurements. Albert Einstein formulated the special theory of relativity in 1905, and it altered how we perceive the universe, especially regarding time and motion. This theory challenges what we might intuitively believe. It claims that the laws of physics are the same for everyone, whether they're moving or stationary. This contrasts with our everyday experience, where we might think that if something is already in motion and we add more speed, it simply gets faster. But Einstein's theory asserts that there's a maximum speed that nothing can surpass. The speed of light. From this standpoint, events that seem simultaneous to us may not appear the same for individuals moving near the speed of light. Another result of this fresh perspective is length contraction. This means that if something is moving, it appears shorter in the direction of motion when observed from a stationary vantage point. And then there's the iconic equation E equals mc squared, which emerges directly from the special viewpoint. It demonstrates that energy and mass can be converted into one another, which is crucial for understanding how tiny particles behave when traveling at extraordinary speeds and also for understanding processes like nuclear reactions. In practice, special relativity isn't merely an abstract idea. It's integral to everyday technology, such as GPS. When GPS satellites send signals to your device, they are in motion, so time behaves slightly differently for them. If we didn't account for this time dilation effect in our GPS calculations, your navigation would be incorrect. Therefore, 
special relativity teaches us that time is not uniform for all objects and places. It depends on how things are moving. This concept challenges our traditional notions of reality. It suggests that our usual understanding of the universe is somewhat off. According to the special theory of relativity, time is not fixed. It is influenced by motion. Some core principles, like the speed of light remaining constant and the interrelationship of energy and mass, have been confirmed through numerous experiments. However, there's more. Enter Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity from 1915. This theory delves further into the relationship between gravity and the structure of the universe. It overturns the old notion that gravity is just a force that attracts things from afar. Instead, it tells us that gravity occurs because space-time itself is curved or warped. It's like saying gravity isn't some enigmatic force. It's simply how objects move in the universe. According to Brian Cox, grasping general relativity requires conceptualizing the universe as a four-dimensional entity, combining three spatial dimensions with one of time. In this framework, enormous objects like stars, planets, and even ourselves influence how space-time is shaped around us. Imagine space-time as a vast elastic blanket. When something heavy like Earth is placed on it, it creates an indentation. If you place something smaller, like a ball, near Earth, it will roll toward the indentation. This is akin to how objects behave because of gravity. It's not a mystical force, but a reaction to the bending of space-time. It's as if Earth creates a small dip in the space-time fabric, and objects move according to that dip. General relativity offers a solid explanation for how objects move in our solar system, such as how planets orbit the sun. It can precisely determine the paths these planets follow, including how Earth traces an elliptical orbit around the sun. According to Brian, this differs from the outdated idea of gravity merely pulling objects, which struggle to explain planetary motion. The new understanding is that space and time are curved like pliable fabric, which aligns better with what we observe. A pivotal moment confirming general relativity occurred during a solar eclipse in 1919. Sir Arthur Eddington led a team to observe how light from distant stars bent as it passed near the sun. According to the theory, the sun's immense mass would cause the starlight to bend slightly. During the eclipse, the observations precisely matched Einstein's predictions, affirming the validity of the theory. Just as motion can alter how we experience time in special relativity, Gravity also influences time. In regions of strong gravity, time passes more slowly compared to areas with weaker gravity. So, if you were standing near a massive object like a black hole, your clock would tick more slowly than one set far from the intense gravitational field. General relativity introduces black holes, regions where gravity is extraordinarily powerful. Inside a black hole, the gravitational force is so immense that nothing, not even light, can escape. The boundary around a black hole is known as the event horizon, representing a point of no return. Once something crosses this threshold, it is drawn into the black hole with no chance of escape. Einstein's general theory of relativity has profound implications for how the universe is organized. Initially, he added a cosmological constant to his equations because he believed the universe was static. But when we discovered that the universe is expanding, he acknowledged this as a major error. The idea of an expanding universe, grounded in general relativity, is a crucial aspect of the theory of the universe's origins, explaining how the universe began. Another significant aspect of general relativity is gravitational waves. These are like ripples in the space-time fabric caused by the movement of massive objects, such as when black holes or neutron stars collide. In 2015, Scientists at the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, LIGO, directly detected gravitational waves, providing further confirmation of Einstein's theory. Over the years, researchers have conducted numerous experiments to test general relativity, and each time it has proven accurate. Whether it's examining planetary motion, the bending of starlight, or detecting gravitational waves, the theory has consistently been validated by evidence. While claiming gravity is entirely incorrect may seem surprising, especially since we experience gravity every day, in the realm of physics, it is common to challenge and explore new theories. Scientists like Brian often question established theories, and with gravity, some challenge the conventional view of this fundamental force. 
One theory that contests the traditional view of gravity is modified Newtonian dynamics, MOND, which suggests that gravity behaves differently at low velocities, particularly in a universe that doesn't require dark matter. Instead of adding unseen matter, MOND posits that gravity strengthens at lower speeds. The gravity debate also involves the enigmatic concepts of dark matter and dark energy, which were introduced to explain certain phenomena in space. Critics argue that these may not be necessary, and alternative theories can account for what we observe. Some researchers who dispute Einstein's gravity theory explore other possibilities, like theories involving unknown particles or forces that might alter or contribute to our understanding. It's crucial to recognize that scientific theories are always being tested and refined. How Newton and Einstein explained gravity was revolutionary, but the exploration of time and gravity is far from complete. So, it's entirely possible that other theories about gravity may reshape our understanding of space-time itself. This is an exciting and continuously evolving field in science. The exploration of time, space, and gravity is a never-ending journey. As our understanding deepens, we may uncover even more profound mysteries that challenge everything we thought we knew. Theories will evolve, new discoveries will emerge, and the questions that seemed impossible to answer today may be understood tomorrow. In the grand scheme of things, this is just the beginning of a journey that may take humanity far beyond our current knowledge, into a future where the very fabric of reality itself is understood in ways we can't yet imagine. In the end, time, gravity, and the universe will continue to hold their secrets. Secrets that may one day help us answer the ultimate question. What is the nature of reality? As science progresses, we move closer to uncovering the profound truths that shape our existence, allowing us to glimpse the intricate web that binds everything together. And in that discovery, we will continue to be awed by the vastness of the cosmos and the mystery of time itself.